I'm never quite sure what I'm looking for when I'm on the road. The country's changing, which gives me perspective on the politics and um, the culture. It gives me a lot of insight into who we are. Landscape does that. My name's Vicky Sambonaris. I'm a photographer and I live in New York City. I've spent the last 20 years driving back and forth across the country, making work about American landscape, looking at the changing aspects of the country. I spend between three and seven months on the road looking at the land. I take one area of the country and I scrutinize it, I investigate it, try to insert myself into the community to learn about the history, that culture, so that I can understand what it is that I'm photographing. And I spend most of my time looking and searching and shooting very little. I shoot with a five by seven field camera. I'm shooting color negative film. It's a lot about looking and taking it in and then going back to that place that interests me, which is more intuitive. I never know what it is that I'm searching for, but I know it when I see it and then I'll wait until the circumstances are right to take that photograph. When I start off on a trip, I pack the car with maps, atlases, lots of literature about place. I pack the car with cameras, with a hatchet, everything that I think I'll need on the road, lots of notebooks I'm writing. I'm journaling, I'm documenting every aspect of the trip, just that I'm completely analog in some ways. I am using Google Maps, but I talk to people, I sit down with the map and they show me things, go here, there's a lithium mine here, and then I'll circle it. So um, I have a record of everything that I'm doing and that is a huge part of the work. There's not so often the opportunity to exhibit that. It's a big part of what I do in my artwork. Those tools help me understand everything and help me remember when I'm writing about the work later. When I take a photograph with the large format camera, there's one shot usually. When I'm shooting it with a different type of camera, a smaller camera, I'm documenting everything around it. I'm documenting what's next to the shot what's behind me, the town that I was in, the people that I meet. Scale plays an, a big role in the work. So I'm shooting on five by seven film, a scene. And when I come back to New York, I'm in the dark room printing a 20 by 24 inch print. And I can see things start to happen in the, the photo. I start to see things that I can't see in a contact sheet or on the negative maybe. When I blow them up to 39 by 55 or 55 by 77, I see even more. You see every blade of grass, you see every detail. I was working on a print uh, last week. It was a photograph of the U.S.-Mexico border with the train skirting the border. And at 55 by 77, I saw the border patrol in the photograph that I didn't see um, in the 20 by 24. It's just so small. Taxonomy of a Landscape is the title of my book that Radius Books published in 2013, but it became the overall concept of my work. And now I call everything taxonomy of a landscape because looking at the landscape for 20 years and documenting it, I am in a way, in my own way, cataloging my interests of the landscape. It's my taxonomy of the landscape. Often I return and go back to that same place and see how it's changed. One of those places are, is the U.S.-Mexico border. My first trip driving the country was down in 2000, was driving down to Laredo, Texas. And I was looking at the NAFTA development all along the U.S.-Mexico border. My interests change, and then I return to a place and look at it and re-examine it again and again. Another place is Wendover, which is on the border of Utah and Nevada. That's a place I keep returning to just because it's so spectacular in some ways. The border of Utah and Nevada splits the town, so it's 
fascinating to me, the culture that happens. On the Utah side, it's motels and convenience stores. And on the Nevada side, there's casinos and golf courses. Looking at landscape, looking ex at extraction, looking at how we are manipulating landscape and how the landscape changes around those places. That's, for me, fascinating to see those changes happening in the country. In 2003, I was in Alaska. I drove up the Hall Road, which is a 500 mile gravel road that takes you up to Prudhoe Bay, where all the in oil industry, but it also parallels the, uh, the pipeline. It took me a couple days to, to do the trip, but when I arrived and I took out all of the equipment and I set up to shoot the pipeline snaking through the Brooks Range, and it was remarkable. And I looked through the camera and I thought, I can't photograph this. You, you have to experience this. And I thought, well, I set the camera up, I'll take one. I'm so happy I did it because it's one of my favorite photographs. And maybe it was just more the experience of getting to that place. You have to see all of this. You have to experience driving the road, getting to this place and seeing this.